Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome, welcome to this very, very special session that we've planned for uh, taking you through the vision for Zilliqa 2022 and beyond. Um, you know, just since we've posted this session a few days ago, we've had incredible response. We've had so many signups. I'm seeing all of these amazing comments coming in. Um, I just want to say I'm so grateful that you all joined us today. This is the kind of engagement that keeps us motivated to take Silica to greater and greater, greater heights every single day. So thank you. Um, to quickly introduce myself, uh, my name is Aparna, and I've actually been uh, with the Zilliqa family for three years now, um, focusing on communications and PR. And in this time, I've seen Zilliqa go through incredible stages of growth, so many stages of evolution, and there's just been so many learnings along the way. But um, I'm, the, the one I think I'm, I'm most excited about is the one that's happening right now, um, and, that, and, and, and all of the growth that's being planned uh, that's just around the corner that uh, I really think will be the most exciting phase for us. Um, we're going to go through, we're going to get into that right away. And I think the best person to take you through that will be none other than the, the man at the helm, um, our CEO, um, Dr. Ben. Um, ben, uh, you know, no further ado, the floor is yours. Uh, the community is, is dying to hear from you. All right. Thank you so much, Aparna. It's really exciting to be here. It's really taking us a while to get to this uh, stage in terms of pulling things together, in terms of various other exciting things that have happened over the last uh, two, three months that I'll cover as part of this presentation. So I guess the floor is mine for the next 10, maybe 12 minutes, give or take. And I have some slides for you prepared as well. So I'll try to focus on a variety of subjects. I'll tell you about where what we've done in the last you know, little while over the last uh, 10, 12 months, give or take, some of the recent changes that I'm sure you are quite excited to hear about. And uh, I'll introduce you to some of the people that we'll spend more time uh, interacting with the, during the rest of this session as well. And I'll tell you about some of the more specific plans, both on the business side as well as the technical side uh, for us for the coming, for the coming months. So quite a lot of information to cover. So let me try to see if I can jump into the slides. So Art, if you if you could, can we have the slides, please? Okay, match. So we haven't used this plan before, but let's hope it all works out. Let's hope the sound quality is uh, what you expect here as well. But all right, so I guess it's up to me to try and manage these slides. All right, let's do it. So. First, uh, before we go too much further, I should probably tell you a bit about my background as well, because I think for some of you, this might be the first time you're encountering me here. And so let me just give you a broad overview of some of the things I've done in terms of my career and uh, education, things of that sort. So uh, my uh, previous job was also with a startup uh, called Brave. You probably know about the Brave browser. Uh, at this point, you know, going really strong, you know, 50, maybe 55 million users. I lost count. Uh, also, crypto-related projects. So I was there as the chief scientist leaving the, leading, rather, the research team um, can, coming up with interesting ideas and driving them into production for about four years. And prior to that, I was in Microsoft Research uh, for about a decade. Uh, also coming up with exciting research ideas, publishing papers, presenting these papers, and then ultimately taking these ideas into really complex products and uh, um, sort of things that are ultimately shipped by Microsoft in this case. Uh, in addition to that, I've also taught at a variety of universities. You can see the University of Washington here, MIT, as well as Imperial College London. I work in what's called uh, software systems, which includes a variety of subjects all the way from uh, things like programming languages, compilers, distributed systems, uh, software security, data privacy, as well as a variety of other topics. So that's a little bit about me, and I hope that this is helpful, and I'm really quite excited to be here and leading Zilliqa to the next stage of its growth. 
Now, uh, before we talk about the future, let's talk about some of the recent past. So we've uh, done really well in terms of growth in the last 10 to 12 months. And I, I want to cover some of the numbers that are covered in a lot more detail in a relatively recent uh, ecosystem report that talks about the Zilliqa ecosystem. You can find the link on the website. If you go there and dig around, you'll be able to find this report that gives you uh, all sorts of gory details, and I'll just cover some some of these numbers here. And so these are some of the important metrics as far as uh, we are concerned at Zilliqa. So quite a lot of growth uh, in terms of Zilliqa addresses. Zilla addresses uh, have grown to by almost 200% from 2020 to 2021. So we have over 3 million active wallet addresses at the moment. And of course, this is one of the things we are aiming to grow further. And hopefully throughout the, the rest of this presentation, you'll see some of the ways that we are approaching this. Uh, in terms of the DeFi ecosystem, this is the number here on the slide, over 350 million locked into different uh, DeFi uh, applications and different dApps in the Zilliqa ecosystem. And obviously, we're not stopping at this only. We are pushing this further. So uh, one of the ways we are pushing this further is by opening up the Zilliqa ecosystem to other blockchains. And so there's a significant focus that we've had on uh, bridging, bridging of assets. Uh, and of course, this is only the beginning. We need to invest further into bridges and bridge with more networks and so on and so forth. So there's quite a lot of thinking that's happening there at the moment, both for things like DeFi assets as well as uh, NFTs going further as well. And so uh, since we've opened, um, you know, these possibilities, we've had over 60 million hours of ETH assets bridged onto Zilliqa relatively recently as well. Um, in terms of getting more people access to the Zilliqa ecosystem, so we are pushing quite significantly in terms of giving uh, users, giving people access uh, to uh, as ERC tokens, both for purchasing as well as staking, and we've been working uh, uh, pretty much continuously with various exchanges as well as institutional investors, you know, various funds and things of that sort. And the list of exchanges keeps growing, and we are, you know, focusing on getting more and more uh, so that people from different geographies can get access to Zilliqa tokens and Zilliqa assets. Last but not least, and this is something that we'll talk about, uh, you know, uh, in the rest of this presentation, I think in a lot more detail, uh, there is a new, renewed focus on the community, and that applies to just about every aspect of community interactions. And so one of them is just a sheer uh, growth uh, in terms of the number of, uh, you know, people uh, signed up for our Twitter, you know, things of that sort, and interacting with us on various channels, including Discord, as well as others. So there's been, um, the growth has been over 200% in the last year. And of course, we have a number of initiatives we are pushing, such as the ambassador program and things of that sort, that will push this further still. Now, let me step back for a couple of minutes and just kind of look at the market as a whole. And so by now, there's been quite a lot of maturation that's happened around blockchain and its applications. And of course, it's not just the L1s which is where we are and what we are excited about, but of course, also applications of some of these L1s. And in terms of maturation, we've seen several really uh, significant and sizable uh, types of uh, um, applications, types of markets emerging in the last you know, 12 to 15 months alone. So certainly there is a great deal of interest out there uh, in terms of uh, games that are interacting with blockchains or based on blockchains or blockchain-based gaming, any way you cut it. And so there are some projections out there. So expected, you know, that market alone is expected to hit something like 300, like 300 billion by 2027. DeFi, of course, remains our focus, and we are aiming to add more high-quality projects uh, to our DeFi ecosystem, some of which might be multi multi-chain, multi-platform as well, but, you know, the projections here are also staggering. So basically, uh, you know, you can see some of these numbers here on the slide, effectively quarter trillion, something of that sort. And, uh, of course, continued growth is projected as well. 
Last but not least, of course, is the metaverse, which is something that's been supremely active and obviously in the news a lot the last year, pretty much nonstop. And so there are some projections here, I think, from Citibank or some such that give it something like 13 trillion by 2030, which is, you know, of course, far away, but we'll, we'll have to see what happens. But at the same time, we are super excited about this specific domain. Like you might have seen some of our uh, activities here with uh, Metopolis and some of the things we did uh, back in Miami about 10 days ago. So we are extremely um, excited about this and also optimistic about this uh, domain and are engaging there deeply. So again, sort of stepping back for a second, I mean, look, what we have is an efficient and um, basically uh, energy uh, friendly, if you will, uh, L1 technology that's ready to take uh, to, to power quite a number of applications. And these applications range from, you know, anything that's in the space of DeFi and those kinds of uh, those kinds of uh, dApps, all the way to creator economy type of applications that often involves things like NFTs. On Zillica, and we've put quite a lot of energy into some of the recent uh, uh, ZRC standards when it comes to NFTs as well. Uh, all the way to sort of various other things that I think are that we are on the cusp of, such as, you know, enabling interesting gaming scenarios and things of that sort. And again, you know, I don't want to steal the thunder of other people who will speak up to me, so I'll just leave it, leave it at that. Uh, speaking of some of the other people, so I'm actually very happy to introduce, uh, you know, well, uh, some of them, and actually some of them are shown here on the slide, but what's, what's happened is that in the last, you know, three months, we've had... Uh, a lot of uh, very important team growth happening uh, at Zilliqa. So here are some of the people who have joined us. This list is not exhaustive. You know, new people are starting pretty much every week. But, you know, this gives you a sense in terms of the uh, some of the focus areas. And so you'll speak to uh, our new community lead, head of community. You'll speak to some of the technical people as well. And, uh, of course, the head of marketing will speak to us in just a few minutes also. We are uh, continuing to grow on the gaming side. So we have had several people join in the last months alone, and we'll keep uh, keep adding to that because we are very passionate about some of these gaming-based outcomes. So here's a subject that's near and dear to my heart. So we wanted to announce uh, some of the things that are currently in the works. And these, I'm sure some of you will find quite exciting. So the first thing here on the list is support for the EVM. Uh, we are working on EVM support at Zilliqa, and this is something that uh, clearly many people have been asking for for quite a while. We are well aware of this, and we are also well aware of the possibilities, because with EVM support, uh, I think the proverbial floodgates open, in that many projects that were sort of on the sidelines before suddenly find a way to migrate to Zilliqa. Many uh, infrastructure aspects like new wallets, new custody providers, things of that sort suddenly become, you know, open up to Zilliqa as well. So this is something that, uh, you know, we've known for quite a while and, you know, it's, uh, it's something that we're focusing, focusing on for upcoming months. We are also putting more muscle behind Scylla, which has been our sort of mainstay, has been our language at uh, Zilliqa for quite a while now. But what we're adding to Scylla is support um, for our LLVM, for an LLVM backend, which will add it, which will give it rather more speed, effectively faster compilation path. And this is something that I think really is important. And, you know, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, uh, we'll have to make, you know, do measurements and figure out, uh, because depending on the application, some applications might want to use Scylla, and uh, especially with this, you know, faster backend, and others will still gravitate towards the EVM. And then the last thing on this slide is our focus on more kind of bridge options, let's say. So as I mentioned before, we want to have more people uh, from different chains migrating over and interacting with Zilliqa in a variety of exciting ways. And uh, this is where bridges come in. And so we want to redouble our focus on bridges and kind of give more possibilities to people. And as I mentioned before, these are bridges for sort of regular tokens, regular assets, but 
not only that, for, uh, also for things like NFTs as we get into the NFT uh, sort of story to NFT domain uh, further. Uh, just to highlight some of the things that we have on our DeFi roadmap, so support for liquid staking has been there for, uh, on our um, roadmap for quite a while. We are basically continuing to focus on that. Uh, various other kind of solutions for uh, cross-chain swapping as well as potentially routing uh, across multiple exchanges. Uh, we are aiming to incre increase our competitiveness when it comes to decentralized exchanges or so DEXs. And then uh, basically just pushing further on the Azure Bridge functionality. We know what to do there, just a matter of time and effort that needs to uh, be put in that um, domain in that direction. I wanted to focus a little bit more on some of our uh, recent activities when it comes to gaming. We are really passionate about what or the potential that gaming on Zilliqa uh, gives us uh, as a fast, affordable chain. I think we're really well suited for games being integrated with Zilliqa. And we've been engaging with a variety of gaming studios and individual game items. And we're also quite passionate about uh, building games ourselves. And you might have seen that we've released the recent data of our gaming SDK uh, publicly, went public just a few days ago, and this is just uh, one of the signs of our commitment to pushing this gaming angle a lot further. And some of you are probably paying attention to, you know, what's happening out there, things like play-to-earn games, uh, things of that nature, and so we're quite passionate about these possibilities, as well as interesting community interactions, such as guilds and all this other stuff that comes as a result, as a result of, you know, getting further into the gaming um, uh, the main. Last but not least, I also wanted to mention some of our recent um, recent partnerships with a variety of really exciting esports uh, uh, companies. So Ninjas in Pajamas is in the middle of this uh, slide. RRQ is also here, as well as Madlines, which is a company out of uh, Spain. And it's really exciting and important for us to uh, cut partnerships of this kind, because in addition to other things, of course, they have engaged user communities or fan communities, sports communities that come with these kinds of uh, uh, companies. Uh, and that's you know, exceptionally important for us as we grow our user base on Silica, as well as the number of wallets, as well as things like transaction volume, volume, and so on and so forth. Um, just to talk about, you know, one of my favorite topics out there, which is, you know, the gross mindset, so to speak. And there's quite a number of things that are happening on this front, which is we're expanding our geographic footprint. We are expanding into Europe quite significantly, as can be evidenced by some of our recent hires. We're expanding in Asia as well, and we're also expanding in the US. We've hired several people there recently, and I think we'll continue to do so. And then uh, when it comes to community interactions, we are uh, on the cusp of uh, restarting our ambassador program there. And uh, Tiago will speak about that in probably just a few minutes. I don't really want to steal his thunder, but we are committed to making sure that those interactions are serious and productive at the same time. Oh, we are doubling up when it comes to global visibility for Zilliqa, when it comes to marketing done properly as well as event participation. I sort of mentioned the event we had in Miami that was extremely well attended, uh, much more so than we ever anticipated. A great deal of excitement about Metopolis, you know, topics related to that. So super, um, Psych to see all of that, um, and uh, the last the last bullet points here. The last bullet point here is increasing accessibility or just access to Zill as well as associated tokens to a variety of players, individuals as well as uh, businesses alike, as well as future investors. And again, I mentioned some of the things we are doing in that domain, such as more exchanges as well as bridges. So super excited to be here. I think uh, really uh, uh, we have really quite an event planned for you. So looking forward to discussions that will have some of the discussions that will happen in the next 20 to 30 minutes. You'll see an exciting panel. So looking forward to all of that and welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ben, for that fantastic summary of everything that we have planned 
uh, in terms of our growth pillars for the next uh, for the next year or so. I think we touched upon tech, DeFi, Web3, gaming. Um, we've, we've really touched upon all of it. And um, I'm sure you agree that the next few months are going to be crucial as we activate all of them, build them out, uh, which really bl brings me to, to the next part of today's event, which is, which is building up all of our initiatives in the right way. Um, and this is one that I've been personally dying to announce for a while, but we've we've had to keep it under wraps because of all of the other incredible um, things in our pipeline, including including Metapolis um, early access event we just had. Um, and so, with the slew of sort of Web three and DeFi activations, we we really needed the right person to help us glow the global visibility of our brand, as Ben was talking about. Uh, you know, expand our, our global community of Zillicans and really position Zillica at the top of the game uh, that we know it truly is at the top of. And and, and I think we found the right person for this. Uh, he's he's as much of a, as a, of a blockchain native as you can get. He's been marketing for projects for six years in the blockchain space and over 10 years in tech. And uh, and, and we're, we're thrilled that he decided to join the Zillica family um, and so uh, I'm, I'm so happy to announce uh, Art Malkov as the new head of marketing. Hi, hello. Hey, hey, hey everyone. Super excited to be here. I'm um, looking forward to Zillica future. A lot, a lot of exciting stuff coming out. Yes, and 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 you know uh, the, those of you, those of us working with you know that you've been at it in the background for a while. Um, but finally, the community gets to meet you, and um, they, they've been they've been asking for you know the new head of marketing for a while, um, and so this is one they're gonna really love. Uh, but so uh, you know, I, I, this is something that I was curious about. So many projects in the crypto space. Um, so why Zillica? What what was it about Zillica that that you decided that you needed to join us and 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 help us, you know, make make us even bigger? Uh, I, I saw the, the potential and possibility. So to me, Zillica is, uh, I look for the projects where there is so much, if you connect certain elements, you can unlock so much potential. And if you look at my background, uh, that's what have happened as previous projects. I specifically look out to join the project if that I can connect with you know, emotionally, that I really understand uh, what they can do and how they can bring it to fruition. And for me, Zillica just jumped out. It was like, you know, diamond in the rough, where it's it's already you know it's been around and it has a great technology, but is it showcased properly? And so to me, it's all about unlocking that showcase of uh, potential. It's like there are we have so many cool things, you know, metaverse, gaming, DeFi, yeah. like yeah. and why not take it to the next level? So to me, that that really spoke. As soon as I look at Zillica, I went like, oh, this is awesome. We can do a lot of stuff here. So yeah, well, hi everyone. I'm super thrilled to be with Zillica because listen, we're sitting in a gold mine here, right? It's it's a it's a, in a way to me, it's a technolo technological gold mine, <laughs> not literal. <laughs> uh, so we will be able to. Uh, I think there's so much, so many things we can build on top of Silica. There's so many different potentials. I done some play to earn uh, back in the previous project, and I think Zolica is, you know, has amazing names that can really leverage that. That's, that's what people don't understand. That, you know, when we're talking about RQ or Nip, those are some of the best teams in the world in gaming we're talking about millions and millions and millions tens of millions of fans all around and we're able to tap in and if we you know whenever we have a, a play to own game we want to feature those teams those fans will come behind that means you know immediately Z uh, zilica becomes the uh, uh gaming platform so i think and that's just one element and there is metaverse there is uh DeFi, there is you know cross uh and interoperability elements so to me that uh, potential is still on not still locked up so I, and i love to unlock the kind of elements yeah I, I i agree with what you said you know all of our partners are you know they have followings of their own they have communities of their own and it just is very exciting to think of how we can combine communities to to achieve massive impact and and bring even more people into crypto you know not just people who've been zillicans for you know so many years and people that we love but also new people that can find out you know what we can and what the ecosystem can really do for them um but you know you've you've been you've been already doing a lot of stuff for a few weeks uh do you want to tell the community a little bit about um what you've been working on and what you plan to focus on 
Uh, absolutely. So for me, I think that in, with the Zolica, there is a could be a lot of connectivity with uh, uh, you know real world projects, real world businesses, and uh, even the projects that we have an ecosystem. There are a lot of ways to showcase them. You know, we have Lunar. It's a it's a yes. one of the biggest social. You know, for those who are not familiar, it's a kind of similar to Coin Market Cap in social sentiment. So we're, they're built in Zilliqa. Not many people actually know that but this is pretty amazing. They're growing very rapidly. And so we have a number of projects like that where uh, we can do so much more with them and they with us. And to me, it's about attracting also the right type of companies and talent to build on top of our ecosystem. We have an incredible ecosystem right now, but, and, but it, it was a little bit, you know, maybe not focused on. And so to me, that jumped out immediately. Like, you know, let's let's do more with partners. So our partners have huge reach, like gaming partners, right? I mentioned that's a huge reach. We get we have me, uh, metaverse. So once again, metaverse is people say, well, it could be a little hypey. It could be, but also it could be a real world solutions. And thing is, lots of big companies putting a lot of resources and money behind it. So like for uh, and so far, Metropolis have received very strong reception. You know, the yeah. Silica City is a one-of-a-kind uh, platform that no one has done yet uh, to that customizability, to ability to what we can offer potentially products on Zilliqa ecosystem that being built can interact with Zilliqa City. So, uh, you know, bring larger brands can come in and have stores here. So it's a, so it's, it's really, uh, you know, possibility. I, I love the, that it could be, uh, it, it could be a, uh, Small or could be gigantic. And thing is, gigantic is very possible because it's not just us. You know, Facebook, you know, they, they, they're going in. They changed their name to Meta. That's, yeah. that's a signal. So, and yet we are going more for the business side of it, more a Metaverse as a service, which is yeah. uh, really connected with me because I think there is, it's a possibility. Once again, it's not just that, but we have gaming, we have DeFi. So Zilliqa yes. really have a great infrastructure that, and framework to build on top of. And that's, so I think that's, that's what I'm yes. looking to do, connect it yes. all together. Yeah, like you said, you know, it, it could be small, but it could be gigantic. It's, it's, that's the key. But with Metaverse as a service, it, it's up to everyone else. They need to imagine it and we build it for them. And so, I mean, if we scale that up, that's, that's going to be amazing. And that's just one of the many things planned. Um, and, you know, there's so many people that are going to be responsible for making this come to life from the community perspective, from the tech perspective, from the engineering perspective. And 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 I, I, I believe you're going to speak to some of them now. So um, I will hand it over to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, and great to be here. Thank you, Aparna. Uh, we got an amazing panel and uh, I will be uh, kind of leading right into it. So we got some some uh, incredible people. So I will bring him on stage. Anton, head of our of product uh, we have Valeri, head of distributed system engineering, our tech person. You got a tech question. Don't go to him, but those questions will come to him at some point. <laughs> it's good He's playing the future. So let's. Uh, and we have uh, Tom, head of uh, uh, support and gaming and for, you know, e gaming and head of community. So this is. Um, let's. Uh, so uh, I will give a quick intro to uh, our um, panelists. So the, the reality is we have we have some uh, amazing brains behind this situation. I'm thrilled to be part of that community. So for first, uh, uh, first and foremost, like let's let's meet Tom, who joined us from Fortune 500 tech giant IBM, and they know something about sports and entertainment. And he was their lead. So you know that's immediately we're we're already in the right direction. And uh, he's driving. We'll be driving digital transformation. For, he has done it before, and he'll do it for us. It's a, his understanding of Web3 power, powered solutions is incredible, and he'll be spearheading our game, spearheading our gaming strategy. So this is uh, Tom. Maybe uh, you know you say a few words. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Hey everyone, great to be here. So so yeah, so really excited to meet you all and be here today. Um, I had a great role at IBM. I loved it. Um, head of sports and entertainment for the UK. It was it, it was a dream role that I did for about five years. Um, the last year of that became a bit frustrating, right? So I spent a lot of time talking to people both internally and um, our clients about how they needed to embrace Web3. 
And ultimately, it became clear to me that they either weren't incentivized correctly or weren't able to do that. And really, they weren't going to be able to make that leap quickly enough. And so I needed to. Um, that's what led me to Zilliqa. And why Zilliqa? Well, the more I researched this project, the more it became like super clear to me that it's got all of the ingredients to be a really major force, both in terms of gaming and beyond. So um, we've touched on some of this already. If you look at the combination of um, Metapolis, um, the esports partnerships, also the, the tech stack, and as the, the Ben alluded to, is actually really well suited to the demands of gaming. I think that, that that just puts us in a great place to really build out this vertical. Um, the other things I looked at was a, a really large, passionate community, who many of whom have been supporting this project for a long time. And I think that's a, a really important foundation to build on. Um, and, and then finally, the, the, the thing that was probably really tipped the balance was the team. So both the existing team that were on board and, and the really great talent that Ben's putting together here. Um, a lot of us met each other for the first time in Miami a couple of weeks back around the Metapolis event. And it was impossible not to be excited by how much like diverse, uh, passionate talent um, that we've got on board. So, so yeah, really great to be here. And um, thanks, Art. Absolutely, yeah. And we, and we do have a truly global team from everywhere. So, and that's uh, was great to connect in person. And of course it was, uh, just great to see people from all over the world bring their own expertise and knowledge. So I think that's what really makes Zilliqa so diverse and powerful at the team. Uh, so and the next stop is Valeri. So Valeri, I'll give a quick a quick intro to Valeri and then he can give us his vision and why Zilliqa. And uh, he's our head of distributed system engineering. And uh, so to some of you have heard of uh, Internet Computer, you know, the last year's top five, top 10 <laughs> leader well, Definity, well, guess what? Valeri really did amazing work there and Don was critical. Well, you know, uh, as you can, everybody's critical, right? But so will we get his perspective in it to the Definity Foundation? He was also uh, driving large programs in Google and uh, led the engineering team across multiple AI and distributed system startups. So I think uh, he's a truly, you know, tech person, tech lead that, uh, Zulika can benefit from. So Valeria, maybe tell us why you joined and kind of your perspective. Uh, right, thanks Art. Uh, I'm really excited to be here. Uh, okay, why Zilliqa? Uh, multiple factors. So in fact, uh, when I looked at Zilliqa, I appreciated many, many things. First of all, um, all the technology that we build has to be used uh, by the people for a particular purpose. And I looked at uh, for the amount of code that people have written, and I looked at the code as well, of course. So for that amount of code, the amount of uh, engagement of the community, the amount of belief of the people in the community, and how far the team went with the, te with the technology that they created uh, was quite amazing to me. Um, and, you know, I looked at the technology. It's very solid. And at the same time, simple. Like if you take Bitcoin white paper, for example, it's very short and very nice and, and sweet. And here we have kind of the same situation because we have like you, you read one white paper, you understand how Zilliqa works. You look at the code and it looks fine. And like, and then on top of that, when I was uh, seeing that uh, Ben is uh, expanding on already successful story, he just wants it to you know, to continue in the future. And there are many more dimensions along which we can expand Zilliqa's technology. Then that was a no brainer. I was thinking that, hey, you know, this project is really uh, underappreciated and uh, we need to come and make it um, much, uh, like much more successful than it is, even though it was already kind of um, way ahead of many other projects. If you look at many other projects, and uh, many, many projects in crypto, actually, they build uh, some technology, come together with some ideas saying, okay, we have a new consensus protocol, so what? Uh, or, or some other ideas, right? And then they uh, struggle to kind of build this whole system of, you know, there's technology, there's people around it, there's um, uh, 
ecosystem fans and so on and 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 this seems to be working already now at Zoeco for quite some time so this gives us the energy uh to move further um that's how i that's my perception yeah so it's it's a proven technology right so, so they already it's it's not like you know, let's build it in the future but it's really it's working you know the that's important it's very important yeah, and, and the potential is only the beginning. So it's like working, but really, like, we haven't yet built what we can build on this. Yeah, <laughs> so much more to build. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. And great to have you here, Valeri. It's uh, absolutely needed. You know, it's always good to have somebody of your caliber to be a, in a project leading really our engineering efforts. And it's, you know, technical. You know, blockchain is about technology. You know, and we can talk about metaverse and gaming, but let's, let's build a tech. So absolutely. Um, and the, so the next person I will introduce is uh, where you haven't spoken to him yet. He's uh, Anton, has a passion for building and launching digital products. Uh, he's our head of DeFi. He actually co-founded several crypto startups, so very experienced. Um, and uh, I, th I think it's very important in this type of uh, environment to have uh, somebody who know, understands DeFi on a very deep level. That's why it's thrilled to have you, Anton, to join us and show and lead our DeFi vision. So maybe share with us some thoughts on, you know, what do you think about it and just why Zilliqa? Uh, thanks a lot, Art, for an intro. Um, I'm Anton. Um, actually, for me, uh, it's quite a simple question. Um, I truly believe in a decentralized economy. And uh, I believe that crypto is the future of money and future is now. And uh, also, uh, financial freedom is a basic human right. So for me, Zilliqa is a great opportunity to contribute to those values uh, and to contribute to building decentralized economy. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a, it's a, and that's where we're going, right? It's, why would we be in blockchain if not decentralized? <laughs> so let, let's remember everybody that we're we're still in the very beginning of the growth, and it's a, uh, it really is, uh, uh, you know, I, I started in 2016. And uh, I have seen a lot of projects. I have seen, you know, when the market was still tiny, tiny. Uh, I think the total market cap was uh, around 20 billion when I went back in the day. And it was, you know, everything we talked about back then as a dream is actually real. And sometimes some of the elements are actually more real. Some of the DeFi, I don't think really anybody really could understand it that back then, 2016, early 17, what could be done. Yet right now, this is a part of our life. So it's super thrilling. Um, so yeah, and uh, last but not least, uh, super important part, community. And Tiago is really uh, leading the way of uh, our community vision. And he, he has built different uh, projects and you know communities and different projects. So one important one, Dash, it helped them grow really rapidly. And that's how Dash, community helped Dash get high, you know, top five. And guess what, community, is also very important to us. <laughs> so, so it's all about the proper connection. And also you're a part of Cardano Ambassadors and growing, implementing, designing the Cardano program. And we know how strong Cardano community is. So this is something that uh, I wouldn't say it was a missing, it's a missing link, but I think we can definitely do more with community. We can listen better to the community. So I wanted to get, you know, why Zilliqa and what's your use on that? Um, hi, everyone, and thank you, uh, Art, for the intro. So as mentioned, I've been working in the blockchain industry since uh, 2013, um, contributing to a few projects, namely Dash and Cardano. And um, that really gave me insight, uh, particularly with Dash, because it went from obscure altcoin all the way to top five market cap. And it really uh, taught me the by trial and fire uh, what it takes to scale up a community to, to that level and how important communities are. So I have been aware of Zilliqa since it came out. Um, I've always kept an eye out for, on its progress. Uh, develop, development is uh, ongoing uh, with many exciting upgrades in the near future. But by now, Zill, um, the Zill chain has matured. It is tried and tested, objectively one of the strongest chains in terms of security, speed, low transaction cost, and very high transaction per second. Um, it is one of the few chains that um, is really, really ready uh, to start building the next generation of the internet. And we have the tools to do that. So for me, that is very exciting. Um, now, of course, DeFi is very, very exciting, but as a lifelong gamer and uh, musician in my spare time, a, a VR and sci-fi aficionado, I really wanted to contribute to the metaverse NFT game vibe aspect of this industry, which I've never done before. 
And um, what I find is that the Zillica family is already incredibly positive and engaged. Um, but putting all these ingredients together, it really creates uh, um, the recipe for one, to become one of the biggest, strongest, and most dynamic communities in the history of this industry. And, that's, and that is my goal. So through our partners, namely on the GameFi and the creator economy, uh, the potential to onboard thousands of new members is quite real. Um, and yeah, as mentioned before, I was privileged to be at the Miami event where I met the team and it, there was absolutely no doubt in my mind that I had found my new home. The quality of the talent pool is just absolutely astonishing um, with many new hires uh, still to be announced. So I feel very honored to be part of the Zilfan. Uh, I think we're all excited. I think that the level... It's, it, it all comes down to the level, right? If, if, the, if the, there, there are right people in right positions, we can. This is, I think, what it, sometimes the blockchains uh, could be missing. And I think the Zilliqa has the right, uh, definitely right thinking, and the Zilliqa leadership team definitely doing the right things. So I'll, I'll take it into kind of main questions uh, for. So everyone is asking, so what's, you know, what is next? So let's go vertically. What is next? I think. Uh, uh, what is our vision for DeFi? You know, this is important questions. Uh, everyone wants to know. So Zilliqa, great. Uh, by the way, guys, uh, partnerships is really cool. But first, it's all about having the right framework. So just, you know, we have a lot of partnerships coming out. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. Ultimately, with the for a team, it's all about building connection. Build, right now, we're rebuilding from... You know, on the back end, a lot of things that can be improved, especially like, for example, for marketing, there are a lot of a lot of elements that we, I think, on maybe could have done better. And so the, all that those things is done on back end. So uh, I assure everybody that there are going to be a lot, a lot of really, really awesome stuff coming up. But ultimately, it takes, uh, you know, blockchain is not doesn't happen in a second. Got to got to have the right foundation. So we're, we're focusing on the foundation that when we grow, we grow very rapidly, we scale very rapidly. And this is a very important element. So, uh, you know, for everybody, don't don't get ahead of yourself. But we let's get get ahead of ourselves a little bit. <laughs> so, so, and with that, I'll have Anton tell us what his vision for Define Zilliqa. He just joined recently, and so, but I know he has a very ambitious vision. So let's uh, let's uh, please, please, Anton, tell us. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I, I basically, Define is evolving in tremendous pace, and uh, our team. Uh, to drive the change. Nowadays, uh, DeFi is a competitive environment with multiple blockchains, teams, products striving to attract some users, uh, assets, uh, and uh, people to to build on top of them. Um, and we actually have grand plans to expand DeFi products within the universe. So our focus would be infrastructure and, and interoperability. Uh, we plan to, as Ben already mentioned, to expand bridges, we plan to expand bridge to multiple EVM and non-EVM networks uh, for both fungible and non-fungible tokens. We plan to increase competition between DEXs um, to upgrade Zill swap and to introduce new DEXs. Um, we have a lot of other kind of uh, things to be done, like providing fast and reliable infrastructure is our kind of top priority now. And uh, we plan to scale up infrastructure decrease latency, decrease rejects, and uh, introduce on-chain oracles. So we have some plans uh, to, to build uh, and actually to, um, to expand uh, the, the DeFi ecosystem uh, from the point standing uh, for now. And uh, I think like we have, uh, we have the team in place and uh, we have the capability to deliver. Um, so for me, uh, it's a great chance, as I already said, uh, to contribute to the values of decentralized economy and to contribute to building a uh, decentralized economy with Zilliqa. Sounds good, yeah. And, and that's why we're here. It's uh, well, well, decentralized, decentralized, decentralized. And it's, uh, uh, well, and then let's take it a more on a fun note, to gaming. Gaming, what is our vision for gaming? I know Tom is... Uh, and I share with us, you know, his thoughts and where, where we're going. So once again, this is good. Think of it for everybody. It's kind of the direction we're going because we have a lot of things. We have a lot of components that can come together. So Tom, please uh, share your thoughts on where you think Zillica is going. 
Yeah, sure. So I'll, I'll start with the immediate and the, my current priorities and then sort of build towards where I think we can go. So um, priority number one for me is to get games on Zillica, right? Um, and there's a, there's a, it's a simple statement, but there's a lot within that. So there's what can we do with the technology? There's a lot we can do, actually. And we started to make some good progress around building out tools to make it easier for studios to come and build on Zillica. Um, we're, we're hiring experienced people from the gaming industry. You'd have seen the recent announcements about um, Valentin, our head of gaming tech technology, who's joined recently. He's going to make a big difference in terms of the capabilities that we've got um, of people who are really experienced in this industry. Um, we're actively um, pursuing partnerships that's going to in, that are with studios that's going to encourage the flow of games onto the Zillica blockchain. That's going to be really important. And then finally, we're going to be working closely with the games that are already building. The community projects are really important. I've been really impressed with the teams that I've met so far. And we're going to be working with these teams to see what we can do to accelerate their roadmaps and get those games on Zillica as quickly as possible. So that's kind of priority number one. Then if we look beyond that, um, number two is around Metapolis and Zillica City. We absolutely need to make sure that that um, experience is gamified, that there's a rewards mechanism, that users are incentivized not just to come back to Metapolis, but that on every visit back to Metapolis, mm -hmm. their engagement deepens further and they become more and more a part of that metaverse. Um, and then thirdly, um, we need to tell the world about it. And uh, the the part that I can play in that is predominantly through those esports partnerships that um, we've already mentioned. As, as you touched on earlier, our, these brands have millions of engaged users. And um, the research we've done suggests that these a large proportion of these people um, are at least um, crypto curious or receptive to the concept of crypto. Maybe they own some Bitcoin, maybe they own some <laughs> Ethereum. There's absolutely no reason why their next step down that crypto rabbit hole can't be to play a game on Zillica or enter Metapolis or participate in, in DeFi on Zillica. Right. And all of those priorities, what they're building towards really is a vision of combining our um, GameFi initiatives with Metapolis and with our esports partnerships. And what that's going to mean is that we're going to be able to create unique experiences that actually merge these worlds, not just for gamers, but for esports fans, crypto natives, and mm -hmm. just about everybody in between. We've got loads of exciting ideas about how we can do that. And I really can't wait for us to build that out. Absolutely. Yeah. And, it's a, and, and for those of you who don't know, uh, Valentin, who just joined, he's uh, he ran a half like had half a million active users in his previous game, which is massive. So so he knows about retention, how to build it out. So we got a, I think the the team is keep getting expanding in a you know in a better better uh, strong like we get getting better not better but like strong talent constantly. So we're expanding with the right people who know how to build it. I helped in a previous project. I have helped with play to earn, and I know how you know those elements work. So I think. We all are highly capable to taking the Zillica's various verticals to the next level, and gaming is definitely one of the. To me personally, I think it's you know you know there are billions of players, uh, you know casual or serious, but in, in the planet, and we're talking about hundreds of millions of serious players. And if you can earn, you know, play and earn, it's way better. There is a there is a, you had to buy before. Then it was free to play, pay to play, free to play, and now it's earn to play. And this is a new paradigm, which is super new. And so this is, a, I think, Zillica is way ahead of us, of the curve, uh, and based on the game part. So that's what me, gets me really excited. It's a, uh, you know, people now. If you look like everybody, uh, you know, we're at the very beginning. The, the really Axie Infinity only exploded last year, so they were like the second, you know, like summer of last year. And then everybody can get been rushing into it. The thing is, do they have the right stuff? Do they have the right support? And Zillica is. Zillica is big enough that we can do a lot of stuff for the future for gaming. So that's, you know, I'm so I'm super thrilled to have you on board and Valentin and others. Um, 
And uh, and that brings us to the tech, tech part, uh, you know, like uh, Valeri, maybe you can share with us some of the sure. views on where, where we're going technically. And once again, everybody, with blockchain, it takes a little time to build. <laughs> let's, let's, not, let's not go like, you see, it's not about, the reality is we're here to give you real information. It's a, it's not about the hype. It's like, what are the truth here? And Valeri, please share with us yeah, your thoughts. Um. Uh, thanks, Art. So, okay, the real information here is that uh, it's critical that we become more interoperable with other players in the blockchain. So uh, to that end, we are building the EVM support, Ethereum virtual machine support. This is already scoped. This is in the works. And what will it, what will it bring? Um, well, first of all, as Anton mentioned, it's important for DeFi. It's important for many partnerships, institutional investors, uh, things like that. Uh, the code that's already written and is just waiting to be run on Zelica. And then uh, as, a, as a Web3 developer, as a DAP developer, you will be at home with the tools you already know from other networks, which is also helpful for the whole ecosystem. Um, Scylla will still be uh, as our tool of choice for many projects. Uh, so we are kind of giving more choice to the developers. Um, and in some cases, it will be one, one, uh, one technology will be preferred. In other cases, it will be the other technology, right? So that's to the EVM as uh, Ethereum virtual machine, which is actually compatible not only with Ethereum now, many networks use it, as, uh, as many people know. Um, we also have a lot of ideas about actually interacting with Ethereum proper, right? Um, so, for example, having some uh, interoperability on wallets um, and so on. And then there are longer term uh, discussions happening in the team about where do we go uh, in terms of scalability of the network, in terms of better fit to specific use cases. Uh, how do we cater to different verticals, to different trade-offs with, um, you know, with better latency, uh, better decentralization, uh, better finality speed and so on. So there are many dimensions uh, and we are going to publish that also uh, in in due time in due time that kind of uh, iteration takes time but uh these immediate uh, priorities about interoperability is not the only thing uh, we are thinking about uh, much more scalable impact of silica Excellent. Yeah, yeah. And it's and I do believe EVM is actually going to be relatively in the near future, right? So some uh, definitely it's going to be this year. Definitely. It's mentioned in 2022. So, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's uh, and a lot of things uh, like for, I think for everybody, we're uh, we're looking to do a lot this year. So it's uh, so it's 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 hard to say because it once again depends. There's technology, there's different layers of it. Uh, there is, uh, you know, partners um how we're working not in you know we have ecosystem then to highlight so there's a lot of moving parts and that brings us back to ecosystem <laughs> and community and tiago please tell us what's your vision for the community and how it can help you know zilica position itself for the future uh sure so the vision um well, you can't fork code. Um, you, you can fork code, but you can't fork a community. This is something that uh, I've said a million times before, and I wish I knew who who coined this phrase because it's beautiful and it really sums up um, some of the challenges of building a community. It's an asset that is um, it's it's you, you it takes years to develop, and it's, you can't copy paste. You can't steal away from from other projects. So, what is the vision? The vision is to build a next generation community where on one part, we already have Web3 and crypto natives. On the other, facilitate and onboard newcomers into the space in a simple, fun, and rewarding manner. So the Zilliqa DAP system is booming, and we haven't even touched the surface. As mentioned before, uh, EVM compatibility is coming. And as Ben mentioned, that is going to open the floodgates of, um, uh, uh, of you know, the number of DAPs that people will be able to, to interact with. Um, so in a nutshell, what I will be doing is building the foundations to scale the Zilliqa family 
to where it deserves to be, which is the undisputed market leader uh, trailblazing the way for others to follow. Uh, the Zilliqa community will be the very first uh, layer one community to be able to congregate in, in the metaverse uh, called Zilliqa City. And this will have a very strong historical significance uh, in this industry as well. So in the meantime, in the near future, uh, you, the community will be, um, will be witnessing a complete overhaul of our Discord server. Uh, in the, in, I won't commit to a date because everyone knows how roadmaps uh, go. Um, but yeah, in the coming weeks, we, we will have a complete uh, overhaul of our uh, Discord server to make it much more intuitive, uh, interactive, uh, and fun place to be with. That will, will help with uh, user retention for sure. Um, we will power up the ambassador program uh, uh, and really get moving there. We already have a pool of excellent uh, ambassadors, ranging from uh, business development to developers who have been here for many years, so they're they're not new to the uh, to to the to the ecosystem. So that's a really very high added value. Uh, we'll have I'll, I'll start planning several um, community activities, regular AMAs, host events with our partners, activate Zilliqa City as soon as possible, and so on and so forth. So uh, stay tuned. It's going to be a very exciting. Absolutely, yeah, and uh, and totally agree that you know we're we're going to be doing a lot more um, highlights of different projects, and this is a, as you know community been clamoring for it. So you'll see more in depth. We'll working be closely on marketing side, closely with more projects that are uh, you know building on Zilliqa or trying to build on Zilliqa. For example, I just spoke to the Zilhive, which is has number of projects, uh, you know. In, in, in the pipeline, and it's they're doing accelerators, they're, they're doing different things to onboard more projects in Zilliqa. So it's I think uh, I think it's really for objective for all of us is to bring the next uh, kind of stage, next evolution for Zilliqa, where you know we're doing we're we're more encompassing, and I do believe we have the right the capabilities and people, and you know this year is going to be very busy. So just uh, mm -hmm. for everybody. It's 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 once again blockchain is not like snap your fingers technology. You got to do it right, uh, but at the same time, we're not talking about you know long long terms. We're talking about this year. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening, both on technical side, both on community side, on marketing side, on gaming side, on DeFi side. So just uh, and I would say get involved. Like I, like you know I, I love how everybody is uh, armchairing and the sidelines, but why don't you well, get involved? Join community, Tiago. Maybe tell them how to. Get involved. How to get involved with the Silk community? Yeah, uh, with everything. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. I, I, absolutely. I mean, just come, come join us and participate. It is as simple as that. Uh, you can follow our Twitter if you are uh, uh, big on Twitter. You can join on Discord and just participate. There, there, there are no rules. Uh, some people have all the time in the world. Other people have nine to five and uh, a big family, so they can only dispense a couple of minutes or hours per day. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. It's not about how how many hours you have. It's just about actively participating in the space and um, to start discovering our booming ecosystem. You will be surprised. Uh, just start by coming in and just say hi. Ask questions. There are never silly questions. Everyone was new to blockchain at one point. Uh, we all learn from each other. Uh, and when the time comes, pay it forward by supporting others with their questions and their doubts. And, and this is how communities grow. Uh, download a wallet, get a small amount of Zil to start playing around with it, see how, mm -hmm. how it works. Um, they are, we have already many quality NFT projects up and running, DEXs, um, games that are already starting to be released. Um, and, and above all, give us your feedback because user experience reports are our goal to us. Don't be shy. Uh, we want, we really, we really do want to hear uh, um, from you. And if you so feel like it, get involved with Zilliqa. So we welcome everyone from any walk of life. Um, yeah. Contrary to common perception, you don't need to be a developer to become involved. Just come talk to us. We're excited to hear uh, from you where you come from. Uh, you know what are your skill sets? Uh, and for that, we do have an ambassador program. It's not limited to the ambassador program, but you know the ambassador program really is there. Um, to cater to anyone who feels that they would like to contribute, uh, like I said, which, with uh, whatever skill, skill sets they may have. Uh, the ambassadorship is open to uh, anyone who wishes to become a, prom a prominent thought leader in the space and mentor uh, mm -hmm. for our family. So, yeah, find, find our Discord, our Twitter, our Reddit. Um, if we don't have the links after, yeah. after we publish uh, or around here in pop-ups, just go to our website, zilliqa.com, uh, scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see our, our yeah. social links, and just click and join.
Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, and we'll drop Discord also link. Uh, so yeah, and Discord has different communities. There is gaming. Uh, if you're a developer, absolutely, absolutely. Listen, if you want to build Anzilica, let's talk. You know, there, the reality is we encourage everybody to, to you know, not just be on the sidelines and scream, go up, go up, go up, but really let's build a real project. Let's build real blockchain because I've been, you know, in, in blockchain for a while. And it's, you know, I would say if you're excited about Zilliqa, get involved. Like, and there is different ways. I'll start with Discord. There's different chats. There's different conversations going. And uh, yeah, if you just want to be freshly following us, Twitter is good. But I would say if you, anybody who is serious, you know, go Discord and dive deeper. Um, and last but not least question, uh, let's do the, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's like take a grander vision. Like, so I guess, what are we uh, the most excited about the Zillica future? Not just directly to DeFi or such, but to, to you, like what, what excites you? Maybe we'll start with, uh, with, uh, Anton, maybe, or you can take us into the, what excites you? Just generally blockchain and how Zillica maybe relates to that. That's uh, really I truly believe, uh, as I already said, that DeFi, the future of finances, and Zilliqa would be definitely uh, have a decent share in the economy of the future. Uh, we are layer one, so we build infrastructure, we build blocks, uh, we give the capability to the external teams to build what they like. And uh, my role would be to support uh, the external teams to build uh, great products uh, on Zilliqa and uh, I will do whatever it takes to uh, to help them to achieve their goals. I think this is my top priority there. Yeah, that's great. That's great. And so, what about you, Tom? What's your what's your thoughts on that? That's... Yeah. So, I think it, it, if you look at blockchain gaming as a industry or vertical or whatever, it's it's obviously in the early stages, but. Ultimately, I, I really believe that the amount of money that's pouring into it, I mean, this is more, more money that's ever been invested in gaming ever before. It's, it's going to result in a number of culturally significant blockchain games that are going to onboard hundreds of millions of non-crypto natives right? and along the way provide genuine play to earn opportunities. And that, I think, is the thing that I'm most excited about. My job is to maximize the chances of those games being on Zillica. Um, shorter term, I think I'm really excited about providing our engaged community with some great blockchain gaming experiences. And we're going to be looking to do that as soon as possible. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a, yeah. Uh, like I said, that's what excited me, excites me about Zillica overall. It just, there's so much potential in various verticals. It's not just one, it's not just metaverse. Oh, everybody metaverse. Yeah, it's cool. It's metaverse can be really big potential, but there's also DeFi. DeFi is incredibly valuable and critical for blockchain projects. So, you know, I'm, that's why it's also important. Also gaming, <laughs> gaming could be, a, you know, game changing, pun intended. <laughs> so it's really depends. Uh, Valeri, maybe you tell us more, of, you know, what do you think your own overall view and how Zilka fits into it? I think currently the world is rethinking how computation in general is done and how it's delivered to the customers and crypto is a big part of it. So we will be rethinking uh, what kind of models make, make sense. So if I want to run uh, some code somewhere, uh, on which chain should I run it or should I run it uh, off-chain, on-chain and so on. So these discussions about on-chain and off-chain will be ongoing all the time. And um, um, I think that for Zilliqa, it's important to find that sweet spot where uh, the right technological choices are made. And this is what we are trying to do here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a very, very, I think it's 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 exciting time for Zilliqa. And it's uh, in a way, you know, what, what the blockchain growing, and I think Zilliqa growing very well with where blockchain is going. And gr I do feel there is potential for Zilliqa to be an explosive project, a breakout project, based on just what I'm seeing. Uh, so Tiago, maybe you take us uh, on your your thoughts on overall broader uh, blockchain community and how Zilliqa fits into it. Sure. Um, this is going to be a bit philosophical. 
But uh, that is exactly what made me get into the space uh, in the first place. So not only some points that have uh, been mentioned, uh, financial freedom, uh, identity freedom, um, and internet freedom. So I'm excited to not let this next generation of the internet fall in the hands of the usual suspects. And let's make the internet great again. Uh, the opportunity to innovate um, in community activation through Metapolis, which is... Um, our uh, metaverse as a service, and in particular, the first metaverse uh, that we call Zilliqa City. That's going to be tremendous. It's going to be a grand experiment for everyone. Uh, and I'm extremely excited about that, for, for sure. But not only that, uh, engage with uh, with our community and partners to create uh, many events, be it online and offline, uh, be it in GameFi, be it in you know created economy, NFTs, and even DeFi. There's so much that we can do. Um, the possibilities are literally endless. Um, but ultimately, um, my main concern is that I'm you know to do this under one big umbrella of providing a safe space for our community to interact, to educate and support individual activities um, and ultimately contribute to, to their success. Absolutely. And, and to your point, Diago, it's, uh, I think it's very important to have the, you know, as you've said, like the metaverse and innovation, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, the ball to get rewards. So that's ultimately, we're in blockchain. This is a space where you have to be bold. It cannot be just sitting and waiting for something to come. So mm -hmm. I do believe that uh, Zulika is that blockchain that is being bold, it taking risks and really, you know, and the risks to pay off the rewards because it's not just, you know, we're doing one thing, we're doing a lot of different things that are, and we, and as well we executed well, I believe Zulika will be, you know, one of the leaders in the very near future. So I think uh, on this uh, note, uh, it was amazing to have everybody here. Uh, thank you for the panel, Ben, uh, Parna. Uh, it, it is uh, our pleasure to be here. And it's uh, if you, anybody want to have a couple of you know, words of uh, goodbye, Valeria, Anton, Tom, Tiago, feel free. Yeah, want to say something? Well, can you hear me? Art? Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. Just thank you to everyone who, who tuned up for this live stream. Um, for sure, it will be the first of, uh, of many uh, to come. And um, yeah, just uh, feel excited because we are. And uh, not, it, nothing feels better than being excited, but recognizing that the people that we are um, contributing for also feel that excitement and report back to us. So thank you very much, everyone. Yeah, we're here to build. Build, building, building come first. The right, the right foundation is super critical, and uh, you know the rewards come. But I think the the vision is truly, truly incredible, and uh, we're here to help it to bring to, uh, you know, fruition in reality. And it's I believe we are on a very right path. Zilka is in a better spot than it's been in years. So yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everyone. Thank all you, right. and stay tuned. We'll see you soon. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Ciao. Oh.